Google Docs is a cloud-based word processing tool that is offered within Google Apps for Education. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to use templates in Google Docs to make your life and work a lot easier and more efficient. There's a couple different ways to get templates in Google Docs. The first way I'm going to show you is just how to create your own. So I have a couple in here in my resources guide that you can look at if you're curious. You can go to Google Docs in the folder and then in the resources folder you'll see that there are a couple different templates. So I want to show you this template that I created for spelling centers um, for my class. Each week in class we get some new spelling words and I just wanted to make a packet that the kids could travel around with as they do the centers. So this one you can see I've just created kind of like a black line master. Um, this section is for their spelling bee words. One of the centers we would do is just having like little miniature spelling bees. And scrolling down, put it to use. There was a space for each kid to put their spelling words to use. They had to make them into a sentence. This is the word cruncher section where the kids can just practice getting their words done. Um, this was actually one of their favorite things to do. They would beg me to do their word crunchers. They liked doing them. And then finally down here there's journal entries. So I basically just created these by holding down the underscore sign. And you can print these off each week or however often you use them and then just write the journal entries in there so you, um, before you print copies for everyone. So this is a really neat way to keep your work in order so you don't have to keep it a paper copy of these everywhere. You can just print it off when you need it. To show you another template in the drive folder is just a quick one using the table function in Google Docs. I inserted a table and created a little template for students to track their new vocabulary in. So this is a really simple table um, and template, but I just wanted to, to show you just how easy it is to do these. So I just went to insert table and I told it to make me a three column by um, I think 18 rows, I don't remember exactly. But you just select what you want and click on it and it'll put it on in there. So in this one you can see there's a space for the students to write the new word and then they can write a definition and then they can put it to use and putting the word in a sentence. They could either write or type in this document. That's one, another nice thing about using Google Docs. And I just copied this whole thing and pasted it down to the bottom so that when I print it I can tell it to print page one and two and do it two-sided and it will print out on paper and I even I left a little space here if they want to punch holes in it they can put it in your notebook. Now I'm sure you can come up with something even better on your own if you want but I just added this in to give you an example of how to make your own templates. Another way to get templates if you don't have time to make it or if you just want to get something that looks really cool and outside of what you can make you can go to Google site for templates you type in drive.google.com slash templates and I will put a link to this in the YouTube video here you'll see lots of cool interesting templates I like to scroll down and I like to search in the students and teachers section and then you can also refine your search by, you know, on, on the left, sort by most users, highest rating, all types of documents, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and so on and so forth. So I've scrolled down here um, and found one in the document section that looks like a good one, just to show you how to use it. So here, this is a lesson plan template that's been uploaded to the template site. So if you want it, you just click Use This Template and it will open up a copy of it inside your drive. So now here you see the template as it is and if you look back into your drive you'll notice that now on the root level folder of your drive there will be a copy of it. See here copy of lesson plan basic. So if you want you can keep this template as is or you can go ahead and change the things that you're not going to change a lot. Say for instance, if you always want to use this, 
and your name is not going to change, you can go ahead and put your name in here and uh, email, phone number, any of that type stuff. And if you go in here and change the name, now every time you open this file, this is how it will look. So to save you the time of having to format every single time, you can just go in and change the content and um, save it as a new lesson plan each time. So to show you how to save as, there's a little minor difference between Google Docs and Microsoft Office. What you want to do, instead of clicking Save As, you'd want to make a copy before you edit. So this is our template, and I'll go back into our drive and show you how to make a copy. We'll just click on Lesson Plan Template, right-click, make a copy. And you'll see here, this is copy of the Lesson Plan Template now. So now, each time you make an edit to this copy, it does not change the original copy. So I could just delete all this out if I wanted to. And you'll see, if you go back to our original one, that it is still left unchanged. Using templates is a great way to work efficiently and keep you from having to reinvent the wheel every time. I know teachers price is at a premium and so anytime you can save a few minutes here and there that's a good thing. If you have any questions about using templates please leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to them. Thanks and have a nice day.